Good morning, students. Today we are going to learn the last and final part of the topic, our planet Earth. We are going to learn about the biosphere. The biosphere is a thin layer where atmosphere, hydrosphere and lithosphere meet. It provides favorable conditions for life to exist. The narrow zone where exchange of matter takes place and which supports life is known as the biosphere. So it is over here that we find the exchange of life takes place. That is where the atmosphere, the hydrosphere and the lithosphere where it meets we have the biosphere. The sun is the ultimate source of heat and energy. For all living beings, this energy flows from one trophic level to another through a food chain. Now what do we mean by a trophic level? A trophic level of an organism is the position it occupies in a food web, a food chain is a succession of organisms that eat other organisms and may in turn be eaten themselves. The plants are known as the primary producers because they can make their own food. They use energy from the sunlight to turn raw materials into food by the process of photosynthesis. Most animals depend on these producers or plants or other animals for their energy. They are known as heterotrophs. The animals which depend on plants for their energy are known as herbivores or primary consumers. They solely depend on plants for their food requirement and their energy. On the other hand, all those animals that consume herbivores for the supply of energy are known as secondary consumers or carnivores. When animals die, the decomposers or microorganisms like fungi, bacteria and some macroorganisms like worms, they decompose the dead organic matter of plants and animals by releasing the mineral elements into the atmosphere, into the soil and this leads to the decomposing of all the plants and animals which are dead. Without these decomposers, it would have been very difficult to ward away the dead plants and animals and they would have remained on the earth for a very long time. Let's now learn about what is an ecosystem. An ecosystem is an interaction between living organisms and non living components like soil, water and air which lead to the production of food and ultimately leads to the flow of the sun's energy. In an ecosystem, we find all the organisms in the biosphere are linked through a food chain by which energy flows through the biosphere. So there is a network called the ecosystem functioning through physical and organic environment. Here we can see very clearly that how the biotic organisms or the living 
organisms they are dependent on abiotic factors and plants are primary producers on which the herbivores are dependent the herbivores are then consumed by the carnivores or heterotrophs and ultimately when the herbivores carnivores the plants when they die they are decomposed by fungi bacteria worms etc and this is how energy keeps on recycling throughout the biosphere now the earth has only one natural satellite and that is the moon the moon is a very small satellite when we compare it with other satellites of other planets of the solar system nonetheless it has a very important aspect and significant factor and it plays a very important role in the movement of the earth the moon has got several characteristics the moon's diameter is only 1/4 of that of the earth the moon's gravity is only 1/6 of the earth so you are weighing 36 kg on earth you will only weigh 6 kg in the moon the moon is about 384403 km away from the earth the moon does not have an atmosphere so it does not have any weather it does not have water either so life can never propagate in the moon the temperature of the moon is very extreme that is 100 degrees when it is facing the sun and it is minus 175 degrees celsius when it is the part which is not facing the sun so atmosphere is not there to protect the moon from falling meteors and that is why we see large number of huge depressions on the surface of the moon so students today we have learnt about the biosphere and our journey to the planet of the earth learning about the lithosphere the atmosphere the hydrosphere and the biosphere has indeed made us learn a lot about the earth so that is what we have enough time for today thank you